Hi, I'm Jeff Ford with the YouTube show Auto Resto Mod, and we're here with Mike Eaton from Eaton Detroit Spring to talk to you about reusing your U-bolts. Should I? Not a good idea. Now, why is that, Mike? Why is that? The threads on U-bolts are not cut, modern U-bolts. They're rolled. That is, the shaft of the U-bolt is smaller than what the actual thread is. Die comes in there, pushes it on the metal, expands the metal out, makes the threads. When we put the nut on and we torque it to specs, it deforms the threads a little bit. When you take the nut off, put the nut back on, the full thread isn't there anymore. We've lost a lot of the meat of the thread. We'll never get it tight again. Okay, Mike, so I'm going to be putting a different axle in my car. How do I measure the U-bolt to know that I'm getting the right U-bolt for what I'm doing? We need to know the diameter of the thread, the length of the U-bolt from the inside of the U to the end of the thread, the width of the U-bolt measured close to the top of the U, and of course the shape of the U-bolt. It can be round like this or it could be square. That's basically all we need to know. That is it. So what about torque specs on these bolts? I mean, what do you want to do with the, uh, the torque on them? Torque on a 3H U-bolt would be about 30 pounds. Torque on a 716th U-bolt would be about 45 pounds. Torque on a 916th U-bolt would be about 65 pounds. It's not really as much as I would have thought, so it's a good thing to know that for a guy out there putting these things together on his car. You really don't want to bear all your muscle down onto it, snug it up, oil the threads a little bit, Suck it up to that torque specs, tighten them in a crisscross pattern, go out and drive the car 50, 100 miles or so, come back, repurpose the U bolt. Awesome. And if you want more information about Eaton products, go out to their website www.eatonsprings.com.